Learn how to make a perfect rice fufu, which can be paired with any pepper soup of your choice, like goat's meat pepper soup, tomato pepper soup, chicken, turkey, fish, or any of those related recipes. At the same time, this can also go perfectly with granite sauce or granite soup. The recipe is coming up very soon. Some of you might be so skeptical about this recipe, that is because you have not tried it before, but trust me, when paired with the soups I mentioned earlier, you're going to enjoy it, and in fact, a new favorite for your family. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, share my video with your friends and loved ones. Let's get In my bowl here is um, some rice I have soaked overnight. All I did off camera was to wash this rice very neatly I'm and soaking for somewhere about um, 12 hours or 8 hours. You can also soak it with hot water for at least 2 to 4 hours or thereabouts. The reason for soaking the rice is just to enable the grains to be soft enough to be blended. Remind you that for this recipe, you can feel free to use any rice of your choice. Any rice that tickles your fancy, go for it. It doesn't matter whether it's brown rice, white rice, broken rice, any type of rice, go for it. Okay, so because my family size is big, I am making 5 cups of rice. So please feel free to reduce the quantity. What I'm going to do is to rinse off this water, come back to you, so we we'll start the blending process. ready now i'll bring my blender here into it i'll add some water the water is to enable the blending process I'll use my hand wigs and mix and combine everything together because um, some of them have settled at the base, okay? Alright, so my cooker settings is between 0 to number 9. I'm going to be cooking this fufu on number 4 heat. You don't want to use high heat to start it, otherwise everything is going to burn, okay? keep stirring 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 that's all we are going to be doing it doesn't matter whether you're going clockwise or anti-clockwise the most important thing is that keep stirring it stir 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 that way it doesn't get burnt at the same time you don't form lumps i know some of you will be wondering what quantity of water you will need to blend the rice yes so the rice tends to thicken up as fast as possible so what you have to do is um add water that will enable the rice to blend smoothly okay so the consistency i have here yeah so when it starts cooking you will notice that it will become very very thick and we might even add water later we need to thicken up so i'm applying more pressure because this stage is very critical and important otherwise it begins to develop lumps okay the consistency is becoming like you know pap or a custard Okay, so I'll change to a wooden spoon and when you're using the spoon, please be pushing it to the segment of the pot just to prevent any lumps. You see, you'll be beating it towards the pot like this, that way it will be crushing down any lumps that will come up. Oh my goodness, guys, my hand, eh? thickness that we are having right now guys <laughs> my shoulder is there though please if you're making it make use of smaller quantity of rice okay so now we are lump free the fufu has no lumps even if it has lumps don't worry you have to chew it because it's rice <laughs> i have water on my side here i touch the water i clean the edges i fold this in well the water has been helpful some water boiling here you can notice the steam up in some liquid that way it's going to help it to steam slowly for at least 10 good minutes okay you don't want to eat raw rice cover it up and allow it to cook for exactly 10 minutes after 10 minutes i'll come back to you welcome welcome 10 minutes later mm -hmm. 
that looks so nice now so i'm going to give it a stir all right so it's very easy to just uh, mix it guys the fufu is now completely ready it's now creamy in nature it's no longer very very sparkly white like you know how we began it okay so everything now is completely ready I'm going to transfer now to the cling film and serve okay time and wrap every one of them here inside the clay fan preserve its moistness until it is time for us to eat it you see how beautiful that looks it looks like pounded yam you wouldn't even know it's a rice fufu unless you know you're told